Rockhampton today where the track has been downgraded through the afternoon to a soft seven. This is the Magic Millions Country Cup qualifier. Of course, uh, yes, the uh, winner will be eligible to run in the Country Cup on Magic Millions Day. Right, $2.60 favourite here is number one, Art by Concord. And it's been backed in from $2.90 to $2.60. $4.40 about Let Me Let Go, number eight. Uh, that was uh, $4.60 on opening today. Got out to $5.50 and then back into $4.40. Uh, Media Empire's at $5.50, that's number nine. A uh, bit of money around for that one, steady at that price. And Wren's Day, number four, heads the others then, $7.50, steady at that price. $10 and longer for everything else, with the John Manselman runners there, Sir Rocket, Tiger Legend, and also Cochrane. Let's head back to Michael Charge now to uh, look at the field for race five at Rocky. Welcome back to Rockhampton for race five, the Magic Millions Country Cup qualifier. It's an open over 1,200 metres. Would you believe the sun's out now? You would think we're in uh, Melbourne with the weather today here at Rockhampton, but this is a good race. Let's have a look at the one art by Concord from the Craig Smith stable at Roma. Paul Hamble in the ride gate six sixty one and a half kilos. He's up there where it hurts, but he's a 10 time winner. He's got a very good record here at Rockhampton. He gets through a soft track. No problems at all. Of course, placed in a country cups challenge at Doombin last start. I like him freshened up over the shorter trip. So I think he's here to run a race today art by Concord. To his deep breath from the Bevan Johnson stable at Bar Calden. Jason Taylor to ride gate 359 and a half kilos. He was a former Rocky star who was winning everything. And then his form just tapered off. He's now gone out west to Bevan. He was a good winner at Bar Calden four back, but uh, his runs probably last couple have been below par. Slow to begin last start, so he needs to step away. He loves the soft track, so you might see a better performance from Deep Breath today. The three is Sir Rocket from the John Manzeman Stable at Mackay. Jackson Murphy to ride gate five, 59 and a half kilos, and a smart missile. He's second up. First up run was good. He made some ground at Mackay over 1,050. He's a four-time soft track winner in the past, and yeah, you'll see sharp improvement again from him today. Four is Wren's Day from the Tim Cook Stable at Rocket. Hampton. Now, Ryan Wiggins is a replacement rider for Ash Butler. It's been like musical chairs with some of the jocks today with weight issues, but uh, gate eight, 58 and a half kilos. He was placed at Townsville uh, last start over 1,200 metres. I like him freshen up. He's been a good campaigner. His soft track form's got me nervous though. Uh, as long as this track can drain away a little bit, he comes right back into the equation, Ren's day, and he looks in good order. Five is Tiger Legend from the John Manzeman Stable at Mackay. Adrian late to ride from gate two, 50 56 and a half kilos and a better than ready. He hasn't won for a while. His last win was the Vogue Rogue uh, as a three-year-old at Doombin, but it was a couple of years ago. He's had the three runs back from a break. He was off heels at the 650 last start at Home Hill over a 1,000. I'd just prefer to watch him again today, uh, but he too has got good soft track form. Six is Cochrane from the John Mansman Stable at Mackay Talia Fenland. A ride from gate seven, takes one and a half off down to 54 and a half kilos. Very good horse on his day, but he can be a little bit hard to catch. He's been placed four from 10 on a soft track. He's never won on a soft. Uh, he had excuses in the stampede at Doom in the last start. He began awkwardly and lost granny race wide throughout. So take him on trust. Seven jet ski from the Jamie McConaughey stable at Rockhampton Rule Oliveira to ride gate four sixty four and sorry fifty four and a half kilos. She doesn't want to carry sixty four and a half here. He's been uh, a two time winner on a soft track. He's had the four runs back. His second up win was good here, but last couple of runs have been uh, very disappointing. I think he needs it a bit easier than this. Eight is let me let go from the Jared Wheelow stable at Rockhampton. Olivia Kendall to ride from gate one takes three off down to fifty one kilos. A couple of nice wins at Yapoon uh, four and three starts back. He's been placed his last couple of runs. He's just got to step up that little bit in grade. He's been placed five from six, but he too may need it just that touch easier. And the nine to round them out is Media Empire from the Jason Morgan Stable at Rockhampton. Warwick Satterley to ride from gate nine on the minimum. Son of winning Rupert. Good win here. Two starts back over 1,050 metres. He began awkwardly last start and that put him out of play behind Chinny Boom. He's won three on a soft track and he's definitely riding a race like this. That's a look at them from the mounting yard. Race five at Rockhampton.
Hard by Concord, the top weight is your favourite here. He's been 290 today into 260, continues to meet with good support, open 350. So he's been one of the better back runners for today, Art by Concord. And uh, look, in saying that, he's just a slight drift out. Uh, he did touch around that 240 mark uh, about 20 minutes ago, but he's just out of touch to 260. There has been money for let me let go here. So that's very interesting. He's in the second favourite. But it's race five at Rockhampton, the Magic Million. Country Cup qualifier. It's an open over 1,200. I'm 4, 1, 3, and 9. I'm just hoping this track has had a chance to drain away that that uh, downpour that we got because uh, Ren's Day, I'm just not sure about him on a real genuine soft track, but uh, some of the jocks were of the opinion, it, it, it look, it's soft, but it, it's not too bad. So uh, that'll suit him fresh, and uh, he should be able to stalk the speed here, Ren's Day. Ryan Wiggins aboard, replacement rider for Ash Butler. I thought he was really good value winner know how good he is, Ren's Day. He was a Cleveland Bay winner at Townsville a season and a half ago. Over the one, Art by Concord. He's a genuine performer. Art by Concord. Loves his track. Uh, soft track, not too worried about. He's just got that big weight to carry today against some really good performers like Ren's Day. Three, Sir Rocket has a four-time soft track winner, and his first up run was good at Mackay. He closed off really well. And the nine, uh, which is Meteor Empire. I thought he was in a race like this on the soft track and just disappointing last up but this suits a lot better. Four, one, three, and nine are my numbers. A short time ago, I caught up with Ryan Wiggins, the rider of the four Wrens Day. Well, Ryan Wiggins, uh, pick up rides. They're always uh, well worth noting, and he's a good chance here, Wrens Day. He's been a grand campaigner. Yeah, he's been a good horse. Um, obviously, last year won the, the Cleveland Bay on him, so, yeah, good to get back on him aboard today. Yeah, that was um, going back. That was his last win, so it's been a year and a half. Wet track's probably got some reservations, but you say it's not too bad. Yeah, it's a really good racing surface here in Mackay, a really good racing surface when it gets wet. So, um, yeah, he's never raced on this track and never raced on this sort of going before, but um, I'm not too fussed about that because, like I said, this sort of track's a, a pretty good wet weather track. Plan-wise, um, it looks to be a moderate tempo, so hopefully you'll be nice and handy to them. Yeah, he races nice and close, over 1,200, so he should be thereabouts. I think he led last start and raced really well, just got run down the last little bit, so he'll be right there to the death. Now, extra money. Only one to load, favourite art by Concord, good money for the eight and the nine. Here's Russell. Magic Millions Day. There's the red light. They're all set. The Magic Millions Country Cup qualifier. Gates crash back and they're off. Great start it was too. Let me let go. Passed away from off the inside. Media Empire. Ren's Day showing speed. Up into a handy spot. Sir Rocket. It's on the outside of the stable mate. Tiger Legend. Drifting back then is Cochrane. Cochrane's a bit deep up by Concord. The favourites back third to last deep breath. Jet ski is out the rear, just short of a half mile to go. Media Empire at a neutral speed now shows the way by a length. Ren's Day running second, let me let go third. Then we've got Sir Rocket Tiger Legend up by Concord. Deep breath, Cochrane to the outside. Jet ski whipped them in. They're down past the 450. Media Empire a length in front. Let me let go about to come off its back to the outside. Ren's Day further back in the field. Then Cochrane starting to thunder down the hated little media empire in front not for long let me let go went to media empire shot clear tiger legend up to third then came deep breath but i want to be on let me let go it gets the bonus exempt from ballot on the big one on january 13 let me let go by four media empire second tiger legend third deep breath fourth up by concord is never in it jet ski the next one in uh, sir rocket cochran wren's day last let me let Oh, let me let go. He had supporters, and I tell you what, he's really uh, raced out of his skin there because he's he's eligible for easier, but he stepped up today on the soft track, and he was just too good for them under Olivia Kendall. No weight on the back, and he just ambled up to the leader. Uh, and he put pay to Media Empire, and that was the ball game. There was nothing out of the pack at all. Eight let me let go. Well done to Jared Wheelow. I think Pretty sure Jared's still over in uh, Canada enjoying a good, well-deserved family holiday. So that will make things a little bit sweeter again. Let me let go.
Very, very good win. Nine meter empire fought on well to run second. Tiger Legend, uh, he got home nicely to run third. The two deep breath, he relished the ground. He's run fourth, but gee, a few there struggled in it. Art by Concord, he never really let down. And Ren's day, when the pressure came on, he folded up meekly. So. All honours with the winner. He's won by three and a quarter lengths in a good gallop. Eight, let me let go. Eight, nine, five and two. There was no real excuses. He just ate up the ground, let me let go. And he was too good for them to take out the fifth at Rockhampton. John, two to come. Back to you in the studio. Yes, and there was a bit of money around for that one. Give him for that. Maybe a bit of second up syndrome there. The 10 is a Ro Robo City from the McKinnon Stable at Rockhampton. Royal Oliveira to ride. Another one drawn poorly, 56 kilos. EMF's pre-race only the first time. He was a first-up winner at Thangul in maiden grade over 1,200 metres. He's been placed one from two on a soft track, but he's got to step up a little bit today. 11 is Soaring Spirit from the Jared Wheelow Stable at Rockhampton. Jason Taylor to ride. Good gate, 56 kilos. Um, no wet track form. He's first up with no public trials as well. So... Look, I just prefer to watch today. She has shown some ability in the past. 12 is Love My Louie from the Dennis Schultz Stable at Gladstone Warwick Saturday to ride from gate two, 55 and a half kilos. He's one for one on a soft track, this horse, uh, and that was at Ballina. That was his only win, but it was... Uh was a good few months ago now so i think another one we're just watching today and the 13 to round them out is chill out miss from the sinclair stable at thangul talia fenlon to ride from gate three takes one and a half off down to 52 and a half kilos placed at richmond three back he's one or she's one on a soft track but uh, we haven't seen enough from her of recent times that's a look at them from the mounting yard race six at rockhampton
just uh, around the 210, 215, but just back out to 230. They're backing a couple here, including Gilbert's Gold, and uh, there was some money for Obliquity, but that's dried up. Um, so it looks like Gilbert's Gold, the one they're coming for to defeat the favourite here, Street Glory, who's rock solid for race six, a class one, over 1,200 metres on 3587. I'm with the three Street Glory. I just think she's got the class to win this. She's been placed two from three on a soft. She's first up. She's one fresh in the past, and I just think this race... Uh, maps beautifully for her uh, street glory. So I've got her on top. Plenty of speed here. Three to beat the five, Gilbert Scold. He has got me very nervous, Gilbert Scold. His first up run was really good. He's one on a soft track. So I think he's the main danger. The 8 Obliquity was great first up, then disappointing. So I think he can improve again here. Um, just slow away last start didn't help him. And the 7 Camacho uh, is going well. Last couple of runs have had uh, plenty of merit. Three, five, eight, seven are my numbers. A short time ago, I caught up with Adrian Lake the rider of the five Gilbert's gold. Okay. Oh, Callaghan Park. Scratching time this morning, we're a good four. We had eight mils of rain before the running of the first, downgraded to a soft seven, more rain then, and a soft five to a soft seven. And the, the sun is now out. So well, bonus, we will be on a soft seven for the last two, this race and the next. Now, Love My Louie goes up. Chill out, Miss. The Grey moves up into the gates. Street Glory, the favourite. Was 2.10 out to 2.40. And then a rally of money for her back to 2.10. So she's a clear-cut favourite. Three Street Glory in front of the five Gilbert Scald at 340 and the eight Obliquity now on the drift out to 550. So Street Glory, the favourite, just given a turn, about to come up. Obliquity, figure it out. Alley, kick, Camacha and Obosity to come up and complete the line. So love my Louis. Stands up well. Chill out, Miss Gilbert's gold loaded. Soaring spirit. Street glory stands up well. So five to load. Robosity alley kick obliquity Camacha and figure it out. So they're working on alley kick, digging the toes in, refusing to move up. Meanwhile, Camacha kept on the move behind the gates, obliquity. Obosity, waiting to go up and figure it out. But alley kick really starting to dig the toes in now. In fact, getting itself a little bit stirred up. Now, Kamach are about to move in. Kamacha goes up. Robosity about to load. Robosity goes in, figure it out, Obliquity and Alley kick the last three to load. Thank you, Andrew. Alley kick holding up proceedings here with the loading process. Barrier boys linking arm behind that gelding to try and manhandle him up into the gates. Meanwhile, figure it out and Obliquity await to come forward. The rest of the field have been loaded. Street Glory firming up. Now into 205. A bit of company up here on the broadcast box with me, Debbie Jenkins and 
Donna McMurdo on the crew having a look at this race from the best seat in the house here at Callaghan Park. Now, Ali Kick, I'd say, with the loading process, has won every round thus far. Barrier Boys doing their best to try and coast him up towards the gates, but he wants nothing to do with the machine. I'd nearly say the starter's patience may have run out here with this. I'd nearly say it could be coming out, Ali Kick. Just waiting for official notification from the stewards. So figure it out. About to come up. News from the stewards broadcast. Thank you. Alley kicks out. Refused to load. We're going without the one alley kick. Bookmakers are requested to rule a line. An announcement concerning deductions will be made immediately after the running of the race. We're going without the one alley kick. Alley kick out. Street Glory runs the favourite. Red light on, ready to jump. Set. And it tended in with Street Glory lending to assistance to the jockey. Cleared from the back. Gates crash back and they're off. Figure it out fast away with chill out miss from off the insider. Gilbert's gold is showing speeder. There's a Bliquity. Bursting through the pack, going up, looking for the lead. Then we got Robicidity further back in the field. Then Camacha, Soaring Spirit a long way back. Love me, Louie. And the favourite went back to the rear. That Street Glory coming down the side, just short of a half mile to go. Obliquity got to the front, shows the way by a length and a tail. Chill out, Miss Running second. Gilbert's Gold third. And they've got a way to be four in front of... Uh, Rober City, further back on the field then, we've got Love My Louie, then came Camacha, further back on the field, Soaring Spirit, and getting to the outside, Street Glory, but she'd want to get on a bike, Chill Out Miss went up on the outside of Obliquity, they are together, Gilbert's Gold third, Love My Louie, Street Glory, starting to wind up the outside, Obliquity, Chill Out Miss, Chill Out Miss and Obliquity, Chill Out Miss, Obliquity trying to kick back, Chill Out Miss, Obliquity, the Grace just in front, Chill Out Miss, and she got in, Chill Out Miss first, Obliquity second, now Street Glory closed at the end, might get third, just in front of Gilbert's Gold and figure it out, Camacha, Love My Louie, Robicidity, further back in the field, soaring spirit, late scratching before the start of the race was the one alley kick, refused to load. Stand by for the judge to post the number. On the outside, chill out miss will get there. 13, chill out miss, Talia Fenlon. Carl Sinclair is the winner. Second will be eight, Obliquity, Justin Stanley. And third will go to Street Glory doing her best work at the end. Fourth, possibly the six figure it out. We're just waiting for that number to go up in the frame and there it goes. So interim numbers, 13, 8, 3, 6. 13, 8, 3, 6 numbers after the running of race number six. 13, the winner. 13, chill out, miss. Chill out, miss. Is raced by Miss C. Stewart. She is a five year old grey mare by Casino Prince out of DeFrost. Talia Fenlon, Kale Sinclair, the winner. That gives that combination two winners today. They won a race earlier on. About a day out, a frog and a sock, and now Chill Out Miss. There was good money for this runner, too. Yeah, it was, mate. They both paid uh, very well, had a little bit on it, so good days. Must be pleasing you. Um, maybe soft track uh, came into their favour a little bit. Yeah, I wasn't sure how it was going to pan out today, but um, look, Froggy's been he's been rattling home in the bush, and he's he just needed a longer straight, so here he is today, and he's done the job. And that was a good tough win. It was. It definitely was. Well done, mate. Cheers, mate.
two for the day. There you go. From Carl Sinclair out of Thangool. Chill out, miss. She was specked in. We saw that. John mentioned it. And when I looked at the QOPs, it had been a really good go late. Chill out, miss. And, of course, Talia Fenlon uh, aboard both. She's riding uh, really well at the moment, Talia Fenlon, and getting a lot of winners. Southeast Queensland, up into Central and North Queensland as well. And today, Chill out, miss. Had a, well, was a decent price, but well supported late. Has got the job done to beat the... Eight Obliquity, who tried hard, stuck on really well today to run second. Screaming Home Street Glory just left the run too late, has run third, and the six figure it out has run fourth. But there you go, Carl Sinclair, two for the day, and uh, Chill Out Miss adds to a frog and a sock, and they take out the sixth at Rockhampton. John, back to you in the studio. Thank you.
down for decision at 12.16. Now they're all set. Red light on. Top Spy runs the favourite. Racing. Top Spy began okay. Showing speed. Gulp is sitter up into a handy spot. Rosa Tormina. Can he be better? Oh, riderless horse there. Uh, rider has parted company with one runner. Let's get back to them. Rosa Tormina, the leader, shows the way by a length. Pasaga sits up second and can he be better? Into a good spot third. The inside of Murabinda Mick. Two lengths of the back to Gulper Sidra, top spy. Top spy's one away from the inside, but there's a rideless horse getting up on the inside of Gulper Sidra and top spy, which forces her three deep. Acrophobic getting onto the back of top spy and Crouchman. For the back in the field, Lindery Glass, Admiral Ash. Srini is back last of all. As they make tracks towards the corner, Rosa Tamina, the leader, shows the way by a length. Can he be better? Looming large, the outsider. Out wide on the track, starting to wind up. Murabinda Mech, acrophobic. Can he be better? Moved up on the outside of Rosa Tamina. Top spy starting to hit a straps in the centre. Acrophobic's pulled out deep. Further back in the field, Murabinda Mech. Top spy, she struck the front. Can he be better trying to kick back? Then came Rosa Tomita. But if you're on the last favourite, go find your bookie. She's home. Top spy first. Can he be better second? Acrophobic third. Rosa Tomita fourth. The rideless horse was Varna Star. Gulf of Sidra. The next one in Murabinda Mick. Pasaga. Linrick Lass. Admiral Ash Srini. And Crouchment, the last one over the line. How's that jockey? Varna Star, the rider of Varna Star. Olivia Kendall has parted company with Varna Star shortly after the jump. She's lying on the track, receiving treatment from the ambulances as we speak. Top spy the winner.